Hey, what's up everyone? I had done a video on a fix for Sonic the Hedgehog 4 episode 1 and 2. Now, there are still some people that can't get it to work properly. This one is for episode 1. And I'm going to show you another way to get it to work. What you want to do is right click the game, go to manage, and browse local files. Now, that's going to take you to the installation folder. Here, what you want to do is you're going to want to copy this executable file name, which is Sonic VIS for Vista. Okay, Copy that and remove that from the folder. Go down to Sonic XP and you're going to want to insert the other executable name. So you're going to change that from Sonic XP to Sonic VIS. Okay. Once that's set, you're going to want to change the launcher compatibility um, properties. Compatibility. You're going to want to change it that. I already did it here, but you're going to want to change it to Windows XP Service Pack 3. Click Apply and click OK. You're going to want to do the same to Sonic VIS. Okay. You're going to go and change its compatibility to Windows XP Service Pack 3. All right. I already did this. Then click Apply, click OK. Um, once you're done, you can either start the game normally through the Steam client or through the folder through Sonic Launcher or through the Sonic VIS executable. But for now, let's start it from the launcher. Okay, gives you your options. Everything looks good. 1920 by 1080 full screen. And save and launch Sonic 4. And it works. Works just fine. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. And there you have it. So if you guys are having any problems, any other problems, if the other fix didn't work for you, try this one. It should work for um, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Now, Episode 2 unfortunately has a different setup and I'm still trying to figure out an easy way to get that to work. But this one is for Episode 1. So give it a try and I hope it works for you guys. Take care.